Hi, I'm Deborah Mybrig and I'm with Emmanuel Cruz of Chateau d'Isson, a class growth property from Bordeaux. Emmanuel, you were mm -hmm. destined for the wine business, but you studied law, you play hockey, you hunt, you sail, you play tennis. I try to do a lot How of do things. How do you fit it all in? <laughs> well, you know, when I have time, the, the job is very busy to travel. We travel a lot, as you know, here in Hong Kong, I was in China yesterday. So um, during the weekend when I have time, I, I try to do a lot of things, but uh, it depends on the season also. And sailing is more during the summer season, hunting during winter, and playing hockey or tennis when I can. Could you articulate the essence of Chateau de Saint, describe the character, and tell us how it's different from the neighbors? First of all, I think we are located in Margot. So as you know, Margot is supposed mm. to be a feminine style wine. Mm. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and on the other end, we try also to have a, a good structure, but we will never compete with Saint-Estelle or Poyac in terms of full-bodied wine. We are more, um, well, the, the key word would be the balance, if I may say. And, and the property has been around since the 12th century. The, the, yeah, well, but the present building belongs to the 17th century because the, it was an old castle during the Hundred Year War between the French and the English. But no, the moats, um, I think the moats were already there at the, at the 12th century, so it was mm. probably the oldest part of the estate. Um, but um, so far, I think um, it's only for decoration. They are still full of water, but. Uh, we don't use it anymore against uh, any enemies. So the 12th century history, how mm -hmm. does that put pressure on you as, as the person who's responsible for the image of this property now? Um, I don't feel any pressure about that. I mean, it's it's more or less the pressure being part of the third classified growth in the 1855 classification. You know, you need to try to be at the top every every year, every vintage. And there is nothing really linked with the history of the chateau. So there is no lot of pressure regarding the history. I mean, the pressure is on, on the market right now and try to be part of the best mm -hmm. wine in the Appalachian and maybe among the, the classified growers. And in terms of this wine, mm -hmm. could you describe the tannins? This is the 2001. This is 2001 and, you know, it's not very clever because 2001 follows 2000. Mm -hmm. Everybody focus on the 2000 vintage, but I think 01 is a, a very classical um, Margot and Bordeaux style wine. So it, it's today it's more on the fruit and the nose. It's it's very open. There is a good good um, balance between the, the tannins from the fruit and the tannins from the root. But it's not a, a huge wine. It's not a massive one. It's more delicate and. Um, so far balance. Um, I think it's a wine that needs to be decanted almost two or three hours before drinking. <laughs> and yet delicious. Thank you.